defensive options out of shield are going to be. Uh, I feel like Uppy out of shield is a little bit exploitable, especially with a character like Marth. Uppy out of shield against a floaty character like this, where Marth can, and, and Marth's kind of like wiry, right. so if you if you SCI out, you can get up air juggled and right. things like that. Uh, a lot of it's going to be either Nair out of shield at like later percents where it crouches in an option, or just wave dash back and kind of reset. Gotcha. I like this uh, early pressure by Kuyashi. He's really caught a DI in a couple of times. That nice was a sweet spot, though. interesting yeah. call out right away with a charge F smash from Marth. Uh, not sure I agree with that. You can just kind of hold ledge against a, a non, like if you have no tether resources, Samus, holding right. ledge is really, really good because yeah. she has a really long end lag when she lands at the stage. Yeah, almost like a Sheik X. Yeah, yeah it's, it's about 30 frames. Yeah. I like uh, Kuyashi's use of approaching forward airs, but it, that is a very exploitable approach option, so it's got to watch out. Like that, right there, yeah. Exactly, it's crouchable, and then, it, exactly, you can hit Marth's yeah. arm if you space just around it with F-Smash or F-Tilt, depending on the situation. Yeah. Uh, Swooper kind of feeling out Kuyashi's options right now. I'm liking this kind of non-committal play, kind of just testing what Kuyashi likes to do in neutral. Um, he's definitely the type of player that adapts over the course of a set and gets more comfortable as it goes on. Yeah, and Samus is one of those characters where she's a, a lot about pace control. Right. That's, that's kind of what a lot of Spacey's haters because yeah. they don't get to play the game they want to. Right. It's the same thing with Marth where we're seeing a lot of Swooper playing slow and seeing Kuyashi kind of overextend on some stuff and then get counter hit and uh, then reset. Nice uh, forward tilt. F tilt killing at 170 though yeah. and a minute and a half in. It's one of those things where... It's just that matchup, you know? Yeah, and... Like, death by a thousand cuts is, is definitely Kuyashi's style as well, so... Yeah, it's it's almost like you have to be playing Brawl, you know? Right. Uh, exactly. Up throw Samus, she goes 15 miles yeah. in the air, and, and then you just wait. Make double jump, and then try to juggle as well as you can. Samus, not a character you can really juggle that well, to be honest. Yeah, so. you can vertically babysit her and kind of just, like, if you're right. playing around and aware of the bombs, you can get, like, your hits in here and yeah. there, and then she'll start to panic. You'll see a lot of, like, descending down airs. She doesn't have good means of getting down with, like, coverage. So she wants to go to the sides and kind of get to the yeah. ledge or, like, mix up being able to fall through a platform. Solid up tilt. Regular get up by Swooper. Uh, easy to poke through the platform with that up tilt. So. Oh, Kuyashi in on these, yeah. putting on good damage here, starting to immediately break that crouch range for, right. for Samus. Uh, Swooper has to be really careful here, and Kuyashi's going to pretty much have dominance over this game with this kind of lead unless he loses his cool. Absolutely. Samus is absolutely one of those characters where she'll eat you alive if you start to lose your cool, but Kuyashi's not one of those players to kind of start right. rushing for a kill. I like how Swooper start to slow down the pace. Um, kind of utilizing more and more crouch cancel, more and more, more uh, projectiles. Trying to get Kuyashi to overcommit on one of those forward airs that he's been kind of using as his primary uh, approach option. So we'll see. And I'm a totally different Samus player, but like a lot of times uh, what I'll do and what I've seen other Samus players do is if you start seeing this Marth start throwing in those forward airs, you'll start to kind of get a feel for where they like to do that. And you'll jump and intercept with Nair and yeah. make them feel very uncomfortable right away. Yeah. And like even at like at even stocks, even at like higher percents, trading is generally bad for Marth in this matchup. Because like if you trade like a first hit of Nair or something like that, it's not gonna kill Samus. Yeah, and Samus has a lot of options off of those traded hits too. So yeah, a lot a lot harder to kill Samus than it is with Marth. Exactly. Okay. I like. I don't like how uh, Super kind of gave up center stage there. Yeah, and he went to the top platform yeah. as well. It's like you're literally taking away all of your yeah, all, all of your control, control options, basically. Exactly. But it might be kind of a test for Kuyashi as the side kind of pushes forward a bit. Ooh, big F tilt. He landed though, so he got his jump back. Nice. Yeah, taking advantage of that. Straight past, yeah. A lot of landing lag on uh, yeah. Dolphin Slash. Both of these characters are very exploitable on the recoveries. Very so. straightforward once yeah. Samus Tether's gone. There's there's very subtle nuances in both of these characters' recovery games, mm -hmm. but um, as far as bread and butter recovery goes, it's very exploitable. So. Especially, okay, bombs are, are a interesting con like mechanic to deal with. Marth can actually jump out and back air high to hit uh -huh. just the bomb, right. and then Samus falls basically a whole character length if you hit just the bomb. Right. But and it, it is very scary for Marth to go out there at those times. If you get clipped, you can Absolutely. just get reversed yeah, on. Exactly. Kuyashi yeah. playing it slow, though, to take that game one. That was really good. Yeah. And um, I know Kuyashi has a pocket chic in, in terms of like matchups that Marth may traditionally struggle with. I don't think it's going to come out necessarily, but I, I know that it came out of doubles earlier. Oh, we lost speed for a second. All right, we're back. They waited for us. Yeah. 
Dreamland an interesting stage. Uh, definitely really favors Samus in this matchup. Uh, I've always been of the opinion that Marth actually does pretty good on Dreamland in general in a lot of stage or in a lot of matchups, especially when you're going for space control. Yeah. Um, and in this matchup in particular, I mean, obviously Samus is favored on the stage. Samus is going to hit you like that way more than Marth is going to hit Samus. Yeah. And so you're not going to be able to, like, you're going to see a lot of Samus living to 170 to 200 percent. Like, a lot of Marth right is getting really That's exaggerated right. up the stage. Yeah. But Samus already traditionally a very hard character to kill, so we'll see. I like this, uh, this platform cover by Swooper. Unable to convert, had a really, really solid self, uh, slide off DI by Kuyashi there. Down air is a great option uh, from Super though, because the, the floatiness of Samus, if you lay out that down air, it's super slow to come out. Yeah. So you can kind of fall with Marth and see what Marth does as a tech option on the platform. And I love and how I love how uh, Super was even ready for that reverse up he, he, he opts the tech immediately and was able to convert. That's a really big risk with these upbeats. Uh, to oh my Ooh, god, super he's kind of fancy. Moving. Oh, yo, up tilt. Okay. All right, he's, All right, I don't think he meant to do it. Dog. I think he meant to do, do it up tilt. Oh, that was, yeah. that was almost surely an up tilt. Yeah, this is the tilting part. If you're behind against Samus, it's just like, yep, it's like watching paint dry. Yeah. You, you just have to watch her recover. You can't really do much. And we're in that 170-ish percent right. again where it's like... Oh, oh my god, just hold legs. And he's alive. Yeah. Like, you, once you give that, look, there's the there's yeah. the smile and nod, but there's a lot of pain in that yeah. smile. <laughs> I know that smile well. And there you go, he just eats the, the, the uh, bomb and that kills him. Yeah. See, you can do that. Um, Sort of like eating a like a PK Thunder from Ness, I guess. <laughs> Almost, Except yeah. Samus has more of a shot. Yeah, I like these F tilts to space out by Swooper. Putting out missiles is a little bit of a test option. All right, game three. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a game. This is this is tough to come back from. Swooper can kind of play the War of Attrition here, and Kuyash is just going to come out negative on a bunch of these trades. So not many options for Kuyash left. Yeah, just wow. fall off and die. Yeah, just literally. Okay. Yeah, this is that's a bomb edge guard. See, I'm I'm of the opinion that this is a matchup where. The more you're like, I can do this, and it chips away at you, yeah. the more frustrated you get, the more aggressive you play, yeah. and the more Sam seats you up, like I said, game one. It's almost like uh, fighting Puff, in a way. Because you, there's there's some point where you're like, okay, this character can just pop to go for favorable trades, because he's up two stocks. Yeah, so oh. what can you really do? He's up two stocks. Puff's yeah. holding crouch. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So it's, it's one of those things where I, I'm of the opinion that just throwing away that game and being like, all right, next one, let's, let's yeah, figure this out and not let it keep me going, you know, or keep it going against me. Wait, what happened to his stock? I looked away for like one second. Oh, my God. He got quick ledge hogs. Yeah. I actually, okay, hear me out. I think Samus. Oh my god. No, Kuyashi, please. Yeah, he's getting a little bit antsy on these edge guards. I think Super Samus speak. lays pipe on this stage. Yeah, no, I Super think Super so hard. Yeah. I, I like, she's all about corner pressure, I mean, and all this stage is is two corners. Oh my god. All right, that's it. Kuyashi, you, you had it. Don't Kuyashi kind of shit the bed here, not gonna lie. He's lost. <laughs> This one is, yeah, it's winter, so at least he's got that. The score is, I like it. Yeah. A little bit of a fancy movement, but just gets timbered by Kuyashi. Again, kind of, let's think about the counter pick now, you know? Like, what I else can we really do? Go FD. Yeah. Go FD. Take away those platform mix ups, stay grounded, play a little bit more in shield, because yeah. we're not seeing a ton of grab. Yeah. Although I will say, Swooper is one of those, like, and it's any experience, Sam, it's like, you start to kind of feel out when grab's the right time to throw right. it out. Oh, oh my yo, God, he attacked attack. that, that awareness? Yeah, he was ready. Yeah, he was super ready. And he's like, I don't care, dude. Like, what? Yeah, what? Kuyashi's just super overextending, yeah. and he needs to. They're like, kind of chilling, play on the ledge a bit. He could also ask about going back to Battlefield, maybe. Yeah, possibly. But I, I would go to. I would just go to FD. Soul Reap. Yeah. Soul Reap. Yeah, he's big chilling. Oh, uh, he could have just fall, uh, like followed up from there. There. Yeah, I'm very impressed by Super's play right now. Super, he's kind of icing out Kuyashi. Like, he's not even giving him a smidgen of uh, momentum yeah. to go off with. He's whiz robing him in game. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, no, there's, there's no way. The smash yeah. ultimate yeah. shout out. That shit, don't, that shit don't kill in this game. No. <laughs> if, you, if it could, though. Yeah, that'd be nuts. Samus finally gets an upward kill option. 
<laughs> she has one in SC Remix. Yeah, all right, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, yeah. You done talking yet? Or <laughs> yeah, that was just hard dominance there yeah. from Super. Kuyashi not playing the same slow. Okay, he said, you know what? I, I played too aggressive at the, at the start. I got fluked twice. Yeah. Which, to be fair, that's fair. He, he, you know, it's ex it's an explosive stage. Sometimes you just get caught. That doesn't mean the stage is bad. Yeah, it's it's always a bad sign when the Samus is getting more grabs in the month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah. Caught the up tilt. Yeah, I, I feel like Kuyashi is like he's getting these solid reads on the on the first projectile that Super throws, which usually should lead into like a roll behind grab or something like that. But he's just kind of late to pull the trigger or a little bit too nervous to pull the trigger, which is really kind of hindering his punish game here. I saw a cute little phantom jab there from Sam before he got grabbed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not much. He got up early and it made uh, it made Kuyashi uncomfortable, so he upbeat like, oh god, what do I do? And that extra like 21% from that charge shot, just, it's gonna add up over time. Yeah, exactly. It, it's it's so tilting to get to, to get hit by that just raw. And everybody talks about how good Samus's crouch cancel is, but nobody really seems to talk about how she's not too great against crouch cancel. Her boxing game is really strong until you start working in effective crouch. So right. once you start that's like that's why she loses to Fox down tilt so so much. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or just puff in general. Well, she loses the puff in general to a lot of things, but like low pro of crouch also. But yeah. crouch is so good against Samus's F tilt and jab and stuff like that. And that's how she gets a lot of her mileage in pushing you out into neutral. So being able to crouch grab that and just saying, no, 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 this is my center stage is huge. So yeah. that 21% is a gigantic swing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm digging the more. Okay, Kuyashi's calmed it down. Yeah, if you're if you're noticing Super's like subtle drifts, it's oh what the fuck I grabbed? Yeah, dude. Uh, her hand grab bat box comes out a little earlier, I believe, yeah. in this game. Yeah, Super's drifts are, are really kind of mixing up Kuyashi's punish game. He's not getting like anything more than a couple straight hits per version. It's kind of it's kind of rough. Yeah, it, it's it's to the point where you almost want to say like, okay, the up throw is not doing it for me. Maybe I should just yeah. down throw for positioning yeah, and kind of try to push you out. It kind of forced like a 50-50 situation too. Yeah, it, it, it's a guess. Well, it seems like Super is pretty comfortable playing vertically as a Samus yeah. player, so you almost want to be like, okay, well, that's normally your weakness, but you're okay with it. So let me play to Marth's strengths more and play right. and play horizontally. Yeah, no, he's getting. So many free recoveries here. And not much Kuyashi can do either. I mean, that's the thing. Yoshi's is so beneficial for Samus because she can basically recover from anywhere. Okay, so down tilt might. Okay, I think he's, he's got, got no tether. No tether. Congratulations. So <laughs> but in those situations where we're seeing Kuyashi get him off stage and then run to center, a lot of times he can be running off and grabbing ledge. Yeah. If if Swooper sh jumps back and shoots that missile, you can respond to that by jumping off ledge backwards and yeah, back exactly. before the missile yeah. comes out, and then all of a sudden Samus is like, oh shit, what the yeah. fuck do I do? A lot of Samus' uh, approaching options are pretty reactable, so you kind of have to watch out for that as a, as a boss player. Careful. No double jump. Oh, I like this spacing from Kuyashi, but he's trading when he doesn't need to be. And, ah, yeah. Kuyashi. I don't know, man. Kuyashi's decision making there made me a little yeah. sad because you knew that Samus was coming down and had no jump. Yeah. And you jumped. There was no reason to do that when you can just throw out the up tilt precursor and then like block or something like that if you whiff. You can tell Kuyashi's playing a little bit antsy. Yeah, he's like. Be. He's he's not the same cool collected he was game one. No tether, no tether. Just hold ledge. Right. Yeah. That's a, that's a rinse and repeat. You can still do it. Yeah. Yeah. You have the platform mix up now though too because the it, it, yeah. it goes a little and, over the and edge. And Randall as well. Ah, uh, he touched the ground. He has tether now. And Randall, I guess. Yeah. That's Big why crouch. It's dangerous. Yeah. That crouch is only good if you like shield grab out of it because yeah. if, if oh that's death. If Samus does that forward air and does it fast enough, she can like up B right away before anything comes out. Right. So a lot of times you want to just like crouch into, into shield on the forward air from ledge. Oh wow, he just, that's such a ballsy grab when he's just putting out F tilts like that. Yeah, and he had a good up air, he just ah, went a little good. early. Yeah, that's yeah, it. That's it. Yeah. That's an easy tech choice. You have to do a slide off there, otherwise you'll get, you'll get put by it. I love that matchup. Yeah. That was super sick. I'm, I'm sure you do, buddy. <laughs>
it's just a fun matchup. Marth's my favorite like character to fight. Mm -hmm. Just one of those characters where it's like, yeah, I'm either I'm losing because I'm bad or I'm winning because I'm good. Right. Or smarter. And let me remind you, this wasn't even like to qualify for top eight. This was somewhere mid range of top thirty two. That was winners round two of yeah. top sixty four. Yeah, this is a stacked tournament, guys. Yeah, top okay, sixteen. Top six yeah. Oh, that was top sixteen. To get top sixteen, okay. Yeah, gotcha. So really